what we're starting with is this little um, tapestry that I, I found this at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is stamp it. All right, and I am using, I am going to be using now this, you can't hardly tell what it is because I've used it so much, but this is a stamp by Iron Orchid Designs. Okay, and it's a it's script. It's called Kind Disregards. So it's kind of like a, a, a letter, okay? So I'm gonna do this for my background on this canvas. All right, so, and it's also by Iron Orchid Designs. Now I have all this stuff on my website. If you happen to wanna try anything, it's weatheredwings.com. I'll put it in a link when we're done. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably need to move it over just a little bit here. Let's see, I want to do it, I don't think I'm going to cover that little part. Okay, so you just take your brayer, okay, I'm loading up the paint, and then I kind of backload it a little bit, because you don't want it dripping. You just want to get these high points on your stamp, and you'll see what it is as soon as I put it. Put it on the canvas. So I'm just gonna lay my stamp. I'm gonna try to kind of center it. Like that. And then press it down when you think you've got it where you want it. Now if you get a brand new stamp, you'll wanna take like a little sanding block and kind of scuff it up just a little bit just to give it some tooth. And then you just pull this up. Okay, that's so cute, I love that, I love that. Okay, so see, it just looks kinda like a letter, and I love how it just kinda, it's made to look a little distressed, okay? So, I'm gonna take my heat gun and dry this a little bit. Meets a little glam, just a little bit. All right, so I want to get this paint dry because I'm going to add, we're going to put a transfer on there. It works better if you have like a little uh, patina or Mod Podge or something like that for it to, uh, to work well. So once your paint is dry, I hope this is dry enough, just give it a coat of liquid patina and this is also by DIY but Mod Podge would work as well whatever you use to decoupage with would work so I'm gonna move this off to the side and let it dry I've already got ready and it's dry Here's this, a sheet out of the transfer, um, out of the set, okay? And so I want to use this big flower. I'm not sure if I wanna use all of it. So, so you can cut these transfers up and use them in just a variety of ways. I mean, they're like, they're hand painted. I mean, the sisters actually paint these and have them, uh, have them made, you know, made up. So, not sure if I want this whole thing. So it has a, uh, has a backing on there. This is the sticky part. So I, always, I can't hardly tell what, you know, what I like until I take it off and just kinda, now it's not gonna grab where you can't um, remove it. Let's just do it all for the sake of the class and I don't even wanna cut that off. So I'm gonna take, they all come with this little plastic doohickey stick. Um, yeah, aren't these pretty? And this is why I wanted to use this rose because I think it looks so good on the this color of the canvas and um, I, I just loved it, I loved it. Red would have been pretty too, but I've just used that one so much, I just wanted to do something else. <laughs> this is my favorite one, by the way. All right, so hopefully this will work. So you just start rubbing it on. So you kind of 
kind of want to lift it up slowly. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it needs any sparkle. <laughs> uh, I just love it. I love this. Okay, so here's what we got so far. All right, I probably can leave it down like this now so y'all can see this side of it. So I'm just gonna paint a little bit. This is Crinoline by DIY. This paint also blends really well. I hope I don't get any on the canvas being so loosey-goosey here. Oh, I can just use what I have down here. So I'm just gonna pick some of this up. I just wanted a, a different shade and I kind of wanted it to coordinate with what I have going on there. So, I am now, let me think, I need to, maybe I should have kept some of that paper. Because I want to pour out some uh, glue. Okay. Now, I love to use this tight bond, quick and thick glue. It, uh, I'm going to be using German glitter glass. And this dries clear, but it seems to hold it better than when I um, use like, a lot of times I'll use a glaze or even the, the patina that I put down there before the transfer. I'll use that sometimes. This, this tends to, I don't know, I just, I've liked it. it. Tends to hold more. Okay, now I had a good little paintbrush somewhere to brush it on with. It disappeared. Oh, there it is, right in front of me, right in my eyes. Okay, so I want glitter glass just on the roses. Um, so let's just do this real quick. Now, th tonight, it may not dry clear while we're on here, so it may kind of look white. But it, it just, when it does dry, it is so crystal clear and it really sets off the glass. And it's this right here is what I'm using right here. All right, so let me take out a little spoon. I love this stuff. I'm like addicted to it. For when it uh for when it dries but here it is okay so that's gonna be super pretty super pretty all right so let me show you one more thing all right so I've got this little uh, stamp okay this is this is also an iron orchid design stamp and I meant to put it on a um, thin mount which is a, just a little plastic thing but I think maybe I can do this okay okay so this is embossing ink, um, which I'm, I'm kind of new to this. Uh, well, I am new to it, but I wanted to try it out with you. Okay, I'll brush all those off later. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and then I have, here's the embossing powder. I thought I would try copper since it's, um, I just think it would look good. It's, this tends to have like some copper highlights in it. I'm going to take this. Okay. I'm just going to try to do it like this. I hope this uh, works. I've only tried it on 
one other little thing. But if it doesn't work, you can paint over it. So this is just the, um, it's like the ink, okay? It's like the sticky ink or gluey ink. Just don't want to get it everywhere, which I just did. It's not glass though. And so then how you make it, um, oh, look at that. So let's see. Love it. Love it. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I wish I wish the glue was um, drying. That is so pretty. Now, you know what? I could have done that with the flower. It, just, it wouldn't have been as easy because I would, have, I would have had to kind of like paint it, like get a paintbrush and kind of like paint this on. But I do think this ink comes in like a drip bottle or something different. So that, that's a thought. Okay. But of course, you didn't need any of the glitter. So if you don't want to do that, <laughs> you don't have to. All right. But that's it. That's pretty much it. So if um, when this dries, it's going to be crystal clear, and that'll just be shimmery. So that's it. Bye. That's it. All right, ladies. I'll see you soon. Bye.